Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm super excited to be talking about this fragrance from Fragrance Dubois. It's my very first scent from this brand. I've heard a lot of great things about them. And this is their collaborated fragrance with producer Michael. And I was actually DMing him a couple weeks ago and he told me that he has his own fragrance. And when he told me it was with Fragrance Dubois, I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And he was really awesome and was like, yeah, let me know where to send it to. I want to send it to you. Let me know what you think. And I'm wearing it right now on my arm. But this is just absolute beautiful presentation. And I'm not really somebody that uh, gets wrapped up in presentation, but you really can't deny just how gorgeous and elegant, you know, the the fragrance looks and the way that they package it. So a lot of appreciation with that. And let me just hopefully take this out nicely. Come on. I'm making a mess right here. But if you want to see what it looks like up close, that's what it looks like. And the fragrance itself is a beast. All right. So my first impression of this, I applied it, gosh, I maybe a couple hours ago, and it's still going strong. Now, I remember the first thing that I smelled was wood. It was this extremely woody fragrance, and then the second thing that came in was leather. And when I was actually smelling it, for some reason, like, I couldn't put my, like, I just couldn't, like, it was, it was at the tip of my tongue, but I couldn't really, why am I not even being able to talk right now? It's like, it was smelled super familiar to me, but I wasn't able to put my finger on it and just say, oh, this is leather, you know what I mean? But I did smell some amber, I did smell some vanilla, and all in all, this is a very bold fragrance. And I believe, and I didn't know this until I started this video, but it has the notes on the back of this right here. But, you know, I like doing my first impressions. I'll post my first impression of this fragrance as, um, not a YouTube short, but... It is going to be a vertical type of video. But it says here the top notes are tuberose and it says secret florals. Secret florals. All right, juniper berry, cardamom, mint and lemon. To be honest, I don't really get any of that if we're being totally straight up. Middle notes, it says Indonesian patchouli. Okay, I do get a little bit of patchouli. Italian leather, most definitely. That is there from the beginning. And I'm going to tell you, it will probably be there till the end because this thing is just blasting off of my arm. I only did one spray, by the way. Right in the middle here, the crevice right there. Cedar woods, okay. I can see that it is very woody. Orris root. I don't really know exactly what orris root is and what that smells like, but I'm assuming it's something woody, right? And base notes, labdanum, woody notes, benzoin and amber. And as I've said in so many videos before, or at least my older videos, if you don't know what benzoin is, it's pretty much vanilla that can fight. It's this very dirty, naughty sort of vanilla that's very sexy, very appealing. And it's just a little bit rough around the edges, but that's why I enjoy it so much. But like I said, the notes that really stand out here, that Italian leather, the woodiness, the amber, and the vanilla. Those are the four things that I am getting. All those florals, everything else, honestly, it's pretty non-existent, at least on my skin. Now, to me, the type of personality I see for this type of fragrance is someone that's not only bold, but very confident in themselves. Somebody that, like, when you attend these galas, the person that everybody wants to meet and talk to and shake their hand and have that conversation with, have that picture with, just because it exudes this, like, like I don't want to say sexiness, but it's almost this, like, dominance. That's the word that I'm looking for. It's a fragrance for people that exude dominance in a very, in a very natural way. Not for people that try to assert that they're dominant and are trying to show off that they can do this and are trying to be another personality. No, these are the people that have it, ab like, just naturally. You know what I mean? So it is a scent that stands out. Now, if you were to ask me if I like this fragrance, I actually do. Is this something that I would see myself wearing in those sort of events? Not really. I still am more of like a Carlisle girl myself. You know, I like those type of fragrances right now that have the sex appeal wrapped up in it. Um, but this is a very elegant fragrance and super unisex. You know, this is not 
a safe fragrance whatsoever. If you're somebody looking for the scent that, oh, everybody's going to like, everyone is going to, you know, something that is going to play in the sandbox, then don't look into this fragrance because this is a scent for people that when they wear it, other people around them are going to have opinions, whether it's positive or negative. It just brings about a lot of polarization, you know? So if you're strong enough to handle that, if you like wearing something that has this much personality and this much zest, then absolutely go for it if you want to see the back of this fragrance. And it just has like some words on it. But all in all, I do have an appreciation for this scent. And what's really interesting and something I've noticed about myself as of lately is before I could give less of a damn about leather fragrances. If you watched my earlier TikToks where I tried like Tuscan leather and Falcon leather, it was so-so. I didn't really get them. And even till now when I smell Tuscan leather, I'm not really wowed by the fragrance. But as of lately, when I'm smelling leather, it just like, it's attractive to me now. You know, it's something that I feel like has taken a while to develop, but now I have an appreciation for it. It's still not my favorite note. It's not something that I eager, eagerly go looking for in fragrances and something that I want as a signature note um, that I wear, but it is something that I'm like, damn, I can, when I, if I smell it on somebody else, I'm like, oh, they're, they're a strong personality. You know, that is something I associate with leather fragrances and then add the woodiness to this scent. And it just makes it all the more polarizing, all the more bold, all the more unique. This is the type of fragrance that you really don't smell on everybody else, okay? Like, and I know that in general, freak, like people don't wear fragrances as often, but when you are going to these fancy events, these, you know, black tie events, the all the, like all those sort of things where people are getting dressed up, and there's a lot of people that really matter in that room, you can bet that so many of them are wearing fragrances. You know, you don't want to just compare, like, everybody in the world on a day-to-day -day basis, of course, right? Like, this is a room filled with people that are dressed up really nicely, that are trying to put forward their best selves. So more than likely, they have a nice fragrance in their cabinet, and they want to wear a scent that's representative of themselves. And... This is a fragrance that does that really, really well. And if you have seen producer Michael, and I'm sure like you probably have seen him on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, he's this car enthusiast. He has this awesome watch collection. I talked to him about jewelry for a little bit, so that was really cool. Um, and, you know, he's a film, TV, music producer, all that. And it's just, when I smell this, I'm like, oh yeah, he is definitely definitely the type of person I see wearing this fragrance and I mean it's true it's it's his scent you know but he just embodies it really really well um again for me it's just one of those scents that I like but I I personally wouldn't wear right now in my life I'm in my mid to late 20s so it's not something that I'm like oh you know what? I want to wear this every single day but I have a feeling that this fragrance as I get older and as I become more mature it's going to be something that I might be reaching for more often than not, especially, you know, maybe in my 30s, my 40s, 50s, 60s. Like, this is just something that it just, it'll grow with you. You know what I mean? Or like when you hit a certain point, then all of a sudden you're like, okay, I get it. It smells really, really good. But yeah, I'm really, really happy that I finally tried a scent from Fragrance Du Bois. And I'm excited to try more from them. I really didn't know what to expect. I knew that it was going to be a niche fragrance, but to be totally honest with you, a lot of niche fragrances that I've tried from these brands don't really wow me as much, at least with the first impression. And then the more I try, I'm like, okay, I, I like this one, but it's, it's hard for things to just constantly have like a good first impression, but I do really enjoy this one. And I'm going to put a discount link in the description. I'm not sure if this fragrance is is it just on fragrance du Bois' website i should have looked this up ahead of time but i'll put a discount link in the description um if you know they like carry this or not but yeah shout out to producer michael or michael blakey as you may know him really really appreciate you taking the time to even talk with me and then send me fragrances and just all that sort of stuff you're super super awesome and for all of you that have tried this fragrance let me know what you think of it 
And also let me know in the comment section below if this is something, if you haven't tried it, that you'd be interested in trying or if you think it kind of fits your personality and all that. But anyways, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.